experience with Nifi's feedback goes as follows. When it was announced, it was going to be pretty much a step up from 2015. But oh boy, what I never thought to this day would come when by the time the game came out, pretty much it was divisive. It was controversial for pretty much numerous reasons. But one of those reasons, and that everybody can agree on, was the fact that boxes was a major problem. Because of battle because of Star Wars Battlefront 2 happening, any game that came out of e that year was gonna get slammed because of this idea of the fact is that pretty much unquote surprise mechanics would most likely be the future of it. Guess what? It didn't happen. It was a major blow. To the point that they stopped doing it. They knew that it was going to be gone. You were not gonna get any customers because of the fact that you want to rely on chance and slot machines and gambling. Especially in Need for Speed Payback? Are you serious? But short to the point, my experience with Payback goes far back as when I pre-ordered the game. Especially the Deluxe Edition, which contains all the hidden goodies that you expected from this game. Just like with 2015, I... Did have some sort of highlights. Most notably the fact is that, well, it was a step up from the, um, from the reboot. I wanted it to make sure it was online no online connectivity, and they did make on that promise. One of the most obvious factors was the fact it did have a post on support, but it only lasted for up to at least the summer of 2018. They wanted to give us seven post on DLC cars and a lot of abandoned vehicles to find out during the feed. But the fact of the matter is, one of the major points was the fact that um, pretty much Mac or at Calisto, I believe, was essentially got his own. DLC and from the speed cross DLC as you see in the gameplay footage, it was expected. I was hoping since you know um, Tyler does the race and drag stuff while Matt does the drift and off-road stuff. Uh, I was hoping that the speed of speed would have been Jess's thing because she does the right things. It doesn't hurt to have her get involved with the racing, but it is what it is. But yeah, major step up from 2015. It's a bum we lost the Toyota license, meaning no Toyotas, no Lexuses, nothing. That's a huge bummer. And trust me, this is the first time that pretty much Need for Speed has gone without Toyota. We'll get to part three when we get to it. But yeah, I expected more from Payback. Like, they did have the playlists or speed lists as you prefer it, but they did have online from at large. It took us to post lots of to give us online free roaming. But by the time you've seen this video, pretty much online live is already dead. I don't know. It's just that most solely focus on the single player since it did give me what I wanted. The only thing I did not want was the goddamn slot machines. I did not want that. The performance parts, well, let me put it like this the performance parts that solely relies on slot machines was no good. It was not gonna fly, and I was not happy about it, even though I have asked about my cars, the problem was that I had to rely on goddamn chance to get the parts that I wanted from fictional manufacturers that are in-game. But, at least the abandoned cars are good, at least because they drive the street vehicles, that's okay, and the abandoned vehicles, and the fact we've got a chance to drive any Skyline, again, with a little lot of different things. Not the one with the white body from the underground games. I don't know why they could not do that. But yeah, we should came out as far as the story and eh, trying to be fast and furious didn't work. Uh, everything else just okay, just like my mini, just okay. But like I said, you'll be surprised what I have to say in part three. We we'll take a look at Need for Speed Heat, which is essentially the last game developed by Ghost Games before they pretty much got the boot. Well, they pretty much didn't. Didn't kill off. It got murdered. So, without further ado, I will see you all in the next video. Take care, guys. Stay safe out there. This is the road to Unbound. Oh, and make sure you prepare it on the PS5, Series XS, and the PC too. Peace.